Hello, beautiful mystic soul. So we're going to talk about the spider. If the spider is your spirit animal, spirit totem, or if the spider lands on you, or if the spider is your home. The spider could represent ancestors in wisdom. Sometimes your ancestors come as spiders, like especially in the home, or they come on you and be around you. It could be one of your ancestors and they're trying to give you wisdom. Also represent the energy of power and strength. And it also could be a message like just be mindful. Or if someone is trying to control you, like maybe you have a controlling parent. Maybe you had a controlling like roommate, a controlling partner, controlling friend, just be mindful of that. Maybe you had issues with one of your parents as a child, like maybe they were, they were just too controlling or too overbearing when you were growing up as a child. It also is a symbol of creativity and spiders, they're very patient, especially when they're weaving their web. They like, they take their time and they do it correctly and right and they go through all the details and they are also gentle. I mean, spiders don't really harm you for the most point. They don't really, well, at least they never bit me. <laughs> the spider also represents feminine energy, divine feminine. Create a foundation for yourself and like catch your desires. You know how the spider, they weave their web to catch, you know, the food that they want to catch their prey. We need to do the same thing to catch our desires, catch our true heart's desires and let it come to us. Not us like always trying to, you know, go after it, let it come to us and we're gonna catch it. So just like be more receptive. It's almost like you're manifesting your heart desires and you're catching it. Just, it's the same thing that the spider does. <laughs> so just be more disciplined. And spiders, they are very skilled. Like I said, they take their time when they weave their web and they they want it perfect. And when it's not perfect, they eat the old web, they tear it down and they start all over again and they just take their time. So in that message, it's like, don't let the don't let the past hold you back. Just um, let the experiences from the past nourish you. That's the message coming from that. And just know that you could always start all over again. And next time, you'll know what not to do. And with the spiders, you know, most of them, they have eight eyes, eight legs, and they have like the figure eight shaped body for the most part. So eight, eight, eight. You know, the eights are good numbers. It's uh, like money manifestors, entrepreneur, entrepreneur learners, leaders, bosses. <laughs> And do you have balance in your life, like both worlds, like the physical world, the spiritual world, the spiritual world, do, you can have complete control of your life and you can do exactly what you want. You can manifest all your desires when it comes to the spider. You just need to balance your power. And most of the spiders, they are web spinning spiders, but they can't, most of them, they can't see. So it's basically like you're just using your intuition, you're feeling with the vibrations. It's being clairsentient. So you need to tap into your clairsentience and just use your intuition for everything. Also, the message is like, think about things like this. Do you have a new job? How do you feel about it? Do you feel icky or do you feel joyful? Do you feel weird? When someone touches you or do you feel good just pay attention to your feelings that is another message when it comes to the fire like i said clairsentience tap into that clairsentience not what you think but what you feel always go with what you feel always create a plan to go after your things and it's very hard to break your path when it comes to the spider it is very hard to break your path and the spider's web is the gateway to other realms. The spider's web represents the reality of our thoughts. It is the gateway to the other realms. That's why when it comes to the spider, and there's all different types of spiders, but when it comes to the spider, you can create the reality that you want through your thoughts, 
through the other realms and you can manifest all these things that the question is when you come to the spider are you stuck like are you stuck in your relationships are you stuck in finances on money are you stuck on a job are you stuck on your family because the quality like when it comes to the web it depends on the quality like are you stuck are you stuck in the web that's that's another question so spiders also symbolize good luck and health and a symbol of fertility as well it is said that uh, seeing a spider in your home brings wealth and then if you have a spider web if it builds a web in your home it will connect all it will collect all the negative energy in the web for you and being a spider person it means that you are a natural loner you are very independent and maybe you tend to isolate yourself a lot but don't isolate yourself too much to the point that you get lonely you don't ever want to be alone you don't ever want to be lonely but it's good to isolate yourself uh, like to balance yourself and reconnect and always stay grounded it's good to do with that and maybe you're like a behind the scenes type person. Not saying like that you're shy, but you just don't want to be the person up front or don't want to be the person on camera. So you're doing everything behind the scenes when it comes to, you know, the spider person. And one of the negative traits, be careful not to spin a web of lies when it comes to being a spider person. You don't want to do that. Especially like manipulating people to get what you want in when you're a spider person it means that you are good with your hands and you're very creative and you have vivid imaginations the spider is reminding you that you can manifest what you want so when it comes to it you think it you write it down you envision it you feel it you feel it as if you already have it act like you already have it and then you can create the life that you can create the life that you want it is just reminding you that you can manifest your desires that is one of the main messages you can manifest one of your desires use your intuition feel those vibrations go off what you feel not what you think sometimes we tend to overthink but the spider is to remind you to go off those feelings those vibrations your intuition and you can manifest all your desires all your desires <laughs> and if things don't go your way you can always reweave it you can reweave your life your relationships you can reweave your money issues start all over you you be just you just be patient you plan it be patient start all over again and you can manifest whatever it is that you want because you are very creative and you are an old soul when it comes to the spider. You have been here and you've experienced many lifetimes. So just learn from the past like I explained to you earlier and don't let it stop you, especially when it comes to like subconscious thinking. Don't let the past stop you. Learn from it and then reweave everything all over to manifest whatever it is you want to manifest. That's the message from the spider. <laughs>